Got Dalton. Right, we've got uh, Dalton here. Uh, Tommy, you want to start us off? Be great. Uh, Dalton, you and Ty, a couple of veterans, got in there last week, and you guys moved the ball. Uh, what, what did it feel like to, you know, get, get more extensive snaps and uh, to be productive with them? Uh, it felt great to be back in there. It felt good to, uh, you know, help out the team any way we could. And, you know, Ty and I were happy to just to get a shot, you know, to assist the team. You know, when your number's called, your number's called. You get up in there and you do your job, and that's what we did. We moved the ball, and we were happy to do that. Where are you guys uh, from a focus standpoint? You've, you've been competitive all three games, really ha had a chance to win last week. The fans are really starting to jump on board with where you guys are. What's the focus been after the disappointment of last week? Uh, just keep getting better. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, we've had we had plenty of opportunities to put that game away, and uh, we failed to do so. And and we broke down the film, and we made sure that we're taking care of our business here. And right now, like the mindset's on Ole Miss right now. You know, it's uh, trying to go one and zero again, beating everybody, and taking the practice one day at a time. Mike. There have been injuries to this team all over the, in every, almost every position. And yet it's been somewhat remarkable that the depth that this team has, players coming in and playing really well, like in the secondary, walk-ons coming on and doing a good job. What is it about this coaching staff that has helped it develop the depth that this team has? Uh, the demand, especially at Coach Pittman, that he uh, expects out of his position coaches to keep everybody ready, you know? Like he said, uh, we, we try to roll guys out there, you know, four deep and every day at practice and really try to get everybody reps. And that's really a credit to him, the way he structures practice and really able to get multiple guys in there to play because that experience is invaluable in practice. And then when you take it over to the games, it's, it's unmatched. And being able to get those guys ready and have everybody ready is always a big thing. And I mean, that's something that I think a lot of teams overlook and Coach Pittman really doesn't like that. And we make sure we address it. This offense kind of started slow because probably because you were going up against Georgia. But every week there's been an improvement. Do you expect that to continue? And you're really optimistic that this offense is really close to being very, very good? Absolutely, yeah. We're just, again, we shoot ourselves in the foot sometimes, but this offense has cleaned up itself every week. And Coach Briles does an excellent job with his play calling and making sure, especially during the week, he makes sure everybody's in the right spots and we clean up our errors and it really does a good job hammering home and all those position coaches too, make sure that everybody's in the right frame of mind and just ready for the week. Trey Biddy. What do you see Dalton out of that uh, Ole Miss defensive front? What, what do they like to do structurally? Are they more of an odd front or they, they mix it up a lot? Yeah, uh, they're kind of like most SEC fronts, how they're going to switch it up between uh, Oki and sometimes going to four down and going to some bare fronts and everything. And they're good players. You know, they're every, you're playing in the SEC. Every defensive front you play this year is going to be good. Play, going to be good. And I think that uh, they've got a lot of talent there and they've got a lot of talent at linebacker level and it'll be a good game. Scotty. Hey, Dalton, you probably thought that you would get into the game Saturday at some point, but maybe not after one play and because of an injury, just, how ready were you to, to jump in when, when Noah went down? Like, how prepared did you feel you were? As ready as ever. I, I, was, I mean, you prepare every week like you're going to start. That's the way Coach Davis treats it. And he expects guys, no matter what, where you are on the depth charts, know everything that you have that week. Know everything. What's, they're going to bring blitz-wise. They're going to bring front-wise. How that goes, those guys play it. There's a lot of accountability out of that room. Not even just from Coach Davis, but from guys around you, you know. Make sure we do group film sessions. We do stuff like that. We study film and uh, study plays together and making sure that we do, everybody kind of has their job. And because you never know what happens. It's, it's football, you know, like stuff can go wrong and one play into the game, you know, and you have to be re as ready as you can be. Tom. I think it was four drives into the game. You guys went and drove for a touchdown on your fifth. And from that point forward, it was, it was, significant you know scoring on pretty much every drive what changed you know uh we really just kind of just <laughs> we weren't shooting ourselves in the foot for one you know we weren't there weren't missed assignments there weren't I'm sure some technique wasn't as fundamental fundamental as we would like it but guys were hitting their blocks getting on guys and tempo helps that a ton too obviously as you can see on that fifth drive we were able to uh, uh we were really able to get our tempo roll in there and once we get tempo going like that's our advantage it really helps us out from where we stand in the media, we get input from fans and they're buying in. You know, they, they believe in where you guys are heading. 
how important is winning at home now to kind of establishing who you guys are going to be in the SEC under Sam Pittman? Incredibly important. Uh, Coach Browse says it every week, defend your house, defend your home. Like, no matter who rolls in there, we expect to defend our, uh, defend our field. And winning at home is always a big thing because, I mean, it's home, you know, and you got your fans there. You're in a neutral, you're in a positive environment instead of a negative environment being on the road. And it means a lot to guys to be able to play in there. Sure, Vinny. Yeah, Dalton, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit more. You, you kind of touched on that linebacker level, but what do you see out of those guys? Look, yeah, Henry's a guy that almost ended up at Arkansas. Pretty good player there. But what do you see out of the, the linebackers? What are their strengths? Uh, they're good. I mean, they're uh, efficient with their movements. I like their their athleticism is pretty impressive. And they're good at getting off blocks and really being able to try to two-gap some guys. And it's going to be important to put our bodies on them this week and get up to that second level and not uh, try to be stuck on that first level. You know what I mean? I got one more, Jacob. Go ahead. Yeah. Dalton, what would you see from Ty? I know he uh, – Sam's told us he missed 20-something days during camp and just had to hang in there. And uh, a guy who's been used to starting, what would you see from him? And now, you know, his demeanor after last week. I mean, he, he prepared just like everybody else did. He did a great job, I thought, when he went in there. You know, he uh, really moved some guys. And it's fun. it's fun to play next to Ty. You know, it's a lot of fun. You know, him and I came in together. And that was always one of our things, is try to play next to each other. At one point, I remember my freshman year, I was playing guard and he was playing tackle, and it was funny. But it's fun to play next to him. And he did a great job coming in there, and he did a really good job in his uh, uh, assignments and protection. And uh, he's, he set himself up for a really good shot this week. Awesome. Thanks, Dalton. That's all I got. Everybody, you got another one, Trey? Yeah, just kind of an off the wall after football, Dalton. What, what, what is your plans for life? And has anybody ever brought up? professional wrestling and if they have do you have a name ironically coach davis brought that up the other day he said i could make millions in professional wrestling uh after football thoughts i'd uh, try to use my master or what soon to be master's degree and try to go work uh fbi or something like that but that don't work out i think i, I can get a shot at pro wrestling <laughs> i was thinking maybe son of undertaker or son of undertaker something like that yeah i like that i like that <laughs> well, thanks dalton Anybody have any more questions for Dalton football or wrestling related? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks Dalton. Dalton. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, Dalton. Dalton.